What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris with Telesplash Gaming and today I'm doing an overview and unboxing of the limited edition Blue Bomber headphones. That's right, Mega Man is getting his own gaming headphones. But you know what? I just don't feel like I'm dressed for the occasion. Let me change into something a little more festive. That's more like it. All right, stick around. Let's take a look at this limited edition Mega Man headset. I'm a huge fan of the Blue Bomber. Mega Man X is actually one of my favorite games of all time. So when I saw these, I knew I needed to get the Blue Bomber headset. But are these going to be any good? Or are they going to give me blue balls? We're going to find out here. Now, the cool thing about these, they say limited edition. Here's the deal. Limited edition typically means rare. These came out like three years ago. And I'm still finding them. So who knows how limited they are. But let's find out. So anyway, cool little box here. You got the Mega Man head. And then you can see the headphones on the side. But let's pull out the old trusty pocket knife that's been used for more plastic and paper than anything else. This thing's never seen the great outdoors. We're going to cut this open real quick. Whoa! <laughs> Serious, this thing wanted to come out of the box. Got a gremlin in here. All right. <laughs> so, let's see what we've got. All right, we've got the headphones and inside the box, that is it. Not a whole heck of a lot in there. I guess uh, the packaging was pretty uh, pretty intricate, but that's about it. So the box is cool, kind of a cool piece on the shelf here. And the other thing about this is these were 40 bucks at a local game store. Normally they were $100, then I saw them on sale for like 60 then 50 But I got them 40 bucks at the local game store, so that's why I picked them up. My daughter needs some headphones, so why not give her some classy Capcom headphones? These aren't even made by Capcom, these are made by another company. I'm not even sure who it is, but anyway. We can check that later if you're really interested. Oh, look, it even comes with a... Uh, okay, we got the... Wow, this is... Oh, wow, this is impressive. Oh, Certificate of Authenticity. So I got a limited number. Six... Oh, zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Six, zero, zero. Three, zero, zero. Eight, nine, nine, nine. Are you serious? One of... 3 trillion, 3 billion, 8,999. That's, uh, that's impressive. Okay, so maybe they're not that limited. This document certifies that the accompanied Mega Man Limited Edition headphones are an official product of Capcom. Special attention and care was used to accurately depict the traits of the actual character. But no special care was taken in making this certificate of authenticity. Well, that's almost useless. Okay, so here's the headset. We'll get to that. Inside, we have a cool little Mega Man card that's wrapped within this plastic and what the heck is inside? I'm guessing it's the aux cord, the headphone connector, and what else? All right, little micro USB to plug them in. Now these are wired, wired headsets, so I'm guessing the micro USB is to... I hope not to use them. I hate when you have to plug it in to use it when it's wired. Maybe it's to use uh, some of the other features. I know these light up. Oh, this is the manual right here. But they spelt it like your name is manual. M-A-N-U-E-L. I got a friend named Manuel. Oh, that's just the Spanish version. See, so makes sense. And then the English version on the front. Fantastic. So R is right, L is left. You don't know how to put your headphones on at this point. You should probably focus on actually learning which hand is what. Uh, this hand right here, shaped like an L. That's your left. Okay, so what do we got here? Specifications, rechargeable lights. Okay, so the lights on the side. So you get the blinking red lights. Micro USB. Closed dynamic. Maximum input power, 3 watts. A lot of words I don't understand. I just want to know, do they sound decent? Can I hear them? And they're the Mega Man look. Okay. Cord. Cord. Pretty simple. I mean, honestly, they're... Oof. They're not, the, they're not very heavy, which is good. They're... Uh, they have a cool sheen. I mean, I like the shiny blue. I love that it actually looks like Mega Man, like the top of his helmet. Let's see if there's any juice in these things. No, no juice at all. So I'll have to get some B-roll here showing you how the sides light up. So 
another three different modes. There's like a stay on all the time mode, there's a pulsing mode, and then there's like a, a blinking mode. So, okay, so they're, they're adjustable here. Adjustable headset. Okay, all right. I mean, pretty standard. I have some Sony wireless golds. They don't feel quite as nice as that. Um, they are cushiony here on the inside, though. So the LED mode button here, LED mode, off and on switch. So you can obviously use them, and that's it. I mean, there's no volume rocker. There's nothing. There's an LED mode button and an off and on switch. USB charger and the plug-in for the mic. That is really all that's to it. So let's see how they look on me. Do I look like Mega Man? Mega Dork. Although, wow, they are uh, snug. Snug as a bug. So they're not noise canceling, but they're actually pretty good. Uh, they're almost too tight. Let's see here. I don't hear that very often. <laughs> let's see here. This is a little bit loose for my taste, but let's, uh, let's crank these out a little bit. And for my daughter, they'd be perfect. So too big there. Takes a genius to put these headphones on here, guys. All right. Maverick Hunter Troll right here. So they're, uh, they're a little snug. Um, a little too snug for my taste. But I think they, they made the loosen up a little bit. I'm afraid that when you go to take them off, they're going to break. They're really, like, really snug to where I really feel like you might just try to pop them off. And you're raging out playing Sekiro. You're going in war zone, getting dropped, getting sniped from the air. And you're just ripping these off and breaking them. But uh, they're cool. I mean, I love the finish. I love the way they look. So let's go ahead real quick, and I'll do a real-world test with uh, some music. Let's see. What do I got here? Maybe some John Cicada. Hmm? No, I can't play anything licensed. Come on, let's play something from Nintendo. That guy's legit. Nintendo is a legit YouTuber that does some really cool stuff. Studio Nintendo. Okay. All right, Studio Nintendo. Some Xenoblade Chronicles. He does some covers of really good music. Xenoblade Chronicles, here we go. So as you can see, they're not uh, charged up, so you can use them just regular. The on is probably for the USB or the lights just to make them a little more fancy. Um, but I'll put some B-roll up so you can see how they work and how they look in action, but yeah, they sound pretty good. Let's play a little something else here real fast. Hmm, hmm, and see if they, uh, see if they can hold up. All right, they're blowing my eardrums out. Okay, well, we're going to close this out. All right, for 40 bucks, I don't think they're a terrible buy. I can't imagine paying $100 at launch for these. Even if you're a huge Mega Man fan, which I am a self-proclaimed big time Mega Man fan, I would be extremely disappointed at $100 for these. But for 40 bucks, they're cool. They're a little too snug for my taste. My daughter, she's gonna love these. They're perfect. They're way better than what she's been using. A little disappointed that there's not a single, like, volume rocker there's nothing i mean literally you can't control the volume except through whatever you're using your headphone or your uh, phone or your actual ps4 your xbox the nice thing is they're pretty universal you can use them with anything that plugs in a headphone jack so that's nice there is no bluetooth connectivity these are essentially just a wired headset i interrupt this video to let you know there is no microphone that's right no mic. So as far as a gaming headset goes, if you feel like communicating with anybody, these are not the earphones for you. These are literally just headphones to listen to gameplay and listen to music. So that alone is not great. Which is fine. Um, but yeah, so I mean, pretty basic. But if you're a fan of the Blue Bomber, pretty cool. Again, for 40 bucks, I don't mind having a good piece of memorabilia. They do sound pretty good. Um, but if you are looking to get a better headset, I wouldn't spend... A whole lot more than that on a headset unless you are die hard and really, really want 
Mega Man in your ear all day. So with that, guys, as always, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you stopping by. Keep trolling. Keep rolling. We'll see you next time. Swole is the goal. Size is the prize. Schmediums. I like schmedium shirts. I love schmediums. Do you make this shirt in large? Yes, I do. I don't want it. Do you make it in small? How about extra small? I'll take that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't like shirts that fit. I don't want to be comfortable. I want to be short and look like I'm stronger than I am. That's right. Okay, let's festive my ass.